Hey guys, what's going on? Space Cowboy here. Welcome back to the channel. Got another video for you guys today. Before we begin today's video, please make sure to drop a like down below. It definitely helps the channel out a lot, so please make sure to continue to do so. Also, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys content from yours truly now and in the future. And finally, hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live or post new content. With that out of the way, I wanted to talk about Andy Dalton and, you know, him being our backup and what, you know, it means to have a quality backup because the fact is is the Cowboys haven't had a quality backup in probably what five six years last guy I could say that was a quality backup was Kyle Orton you know um and again like I'm not saying that the backup has to come in and be like a Nick Foles where he wins you a championship no like that's a that's a plus they just have to make sure that the ship stays afloat while the season goes on if you don't have your starter and the fact is, is from what we're hearing with Andy Dalton apparently he's been looking pretty damn good in practice especially with working with some of the ones and stuff like that now the reason I bring this to light is because this is something that we've needed as you know as cowboy fans and just us having that sense of okay if something were to happen we have a plan B and the fact is, is uh, you know, Andy Dalton is just that. You know, um, Andy Dalton, he's a solid quarterback. Would I have him as, you know, a long-term starter? Probably not, no, uh, depending on the situation. But he's definitely a good quarterback. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's just I think he was in a wrong place, wrong time in Cincinnati, and they were just like, eh, we have a chance to get a new guy, so why not? Now, with all this being said, you know, I think that Andy Dalton, um, you know, has a lot more to work with here in Dallas if he was to have, you know, if he did have to start some games, which is good, you know, um, and I think that having him as a member of your quarterback room definitely helps, you know, you want to have as many, you know, you want, you want to have guys that are experienced and you know come in especially with a guy like Dak Prescott who's you know yeah he's going into his fifth year now and he's 27 um years old but you want to have some you know older veterans that have been in the league for quite some time to help you know have some you know pointers on what you got to do and what you don't have to do now um that doesn't mean that Andy Dalton's going to be like this guru that's going to exactly you know <laughs> is going to exactly tell him what he's got to do but Again, he's probably the be yeah he's probably the best backup we've had since uh, Kyle Lorton. You know that's going over guys. And remember, remember the you know 2015, you had freaking um Brandon Whedon, Matt Castle, Kellen Moore, like ugh. And then we were really lucky to get a guy in Dak. Otherwise, we probably would not have, we would not be in the situation we're in right now. Um, but, again, you know, we've seen what not having a quality backup can do to a team. The Cowboys of 2015, it, you know, are a prime example of that. Now, again, the point of having a backup like an Andy Dalton or someone akin to that is that you can plug him in and you can keep the ship afloat until your starter returns right so if there was something to happen uh to Dak for two to three games i have faith that andy dolan can win you a game or two in that stretch of time or maybe all three depending on what time frame we're talking about and someone like him would have definitely been important last year you know um Dak prescott and this is again my fundamental belief is that Last year, when he, you know, injured his AC joint, he really should not have been playing. I'm going to be completely honest. He should not have been playing. But if you're going to play, you need to show out. You know, I understand we could say he's injured. That is the truth. That is a true statement to make. But if you're playing, you need to be able to be efficient. And if you're not going to be able to get the job done... You know, that's bad. And, you know, especially if you had to force your starter to play when you know damn well that you can only do certain things. And I'm not saying Dak was, like, the worst, like, it was the worst game of his career type of level that game. But he could have done better. I mean, it's weird because then the following week he throws four touchdowns, so I don't even know anymore. But you get what I'm saying. 
So I definitely think that Andy Dolan was a huge pickup by the Cowboys to have for this year and give more time for guys like Ben Ben DiNucci or Clayton Thorson if they end up being, you know, your guys in the future that you have behind Dak. Definitely important to have a guy like him in the quarterback room to not only help Dak, but to help those young guys. So down in the comments section below, please feel free to leave your comments on what's going on, you know, and how you feel about Andy Dalton being our backup. Make sure uh, to leave your comments down there. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for reaching the end of this one. All right, guys. See you. Goodbye.